Microsoft Copilot, the $13 billion investment child. Let's talk about Microsoft's version of ChatGPT. It's 6 p.m. You're getting ready for another Breaking Bad rewatch. There is a nagging feeling, what did I forget? Panic floods, the report due tomorrow is untouched. You've had a week to prepare, but you procrastinated. Scrambling to your laptop, frantically Googling everything. You're copying anything that might be useful, dreading the long night ahead. Then a spark of hope shines. You remember an article about ChatGPT's unique uses when it comes to research. Could it work? You're desperate, so you boot it up and paste your fragmented notes and ask for help. In a heartbeat, you got an outline. You tweak it, add some visuals, voila! back to Breaking Bad. Alternatively, you could also skip Breaking Bad and work on your report. It sounds like a smarter decision. Uh, maybe I am getting a little bit older here. Since GPT-3's debut in 2022, the buzz around AI soared. Its promises to boost productivity and fuel creativity were unmatched. Even your aunt talked about that AI. The AI tide is rising and it caught a monumental wave when Microsoft, the second most valuable company in the world, invested $13 billion in OpenAI. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they become the world's most valuable valuable company very soon. Microsoft's investment was a bet on AI's future, and it seems this investment brainchild has been born. Microsoft Copilot. Microsoft saw a symbiotic relationship with OpenAI beyond new features. It wanted to redefine user interaction and revolutionize productivity as we know it. This synergy would add value to existing users and attract new customers into a world where difficult tasks become simple conversations with AI. Microsoft eyed the throne of enterprise AI adoption. Since its announcement in March of 2023, Copilot has generated quite the buzz, implying a desire from the community. Following its November 1st launch for enterprise, it seems that it was worth the wait. But while AI is an exciting avenue, it doesn't come without any concerns. The most reported of those concerns related to privacy and security. Copilot supposedly sets those to rest. It draws only from the information you provide and won't save your AI-powered chat data, keeping it inside the organization. But yeah, never entirely trust them robots when it comes to your data. By combining Microsoft Graph, an API that integrates the organizational context you provide, GPT-4 and Microsoft's apps, Copilot could potentially become the most powerful productivity tool on the planet. Let's say you need to outline a report on Word, check. You want insights from Excel sheets, check. Here's a graph as well. Need someone to take a Teams meeting for you and draft up deliverables, check. Copilot reflects Microsoft's vision, integrating with OpenAI to transform the digital workplace. And it's a huge leap when it comes to competition with Google's tools. There is no doubt a game changer, but while Microsoft reaps the rewards, what does it mean for the smaller players in the game? Copilot's release threatens startups carving a niche in this space. Here's how. Outlook, for instance, Copilot's email management features rivals tools like Boomerang and Sanebox. They are known for email prioritization and summarization. Take Microsoft Teams, for example. In Copilot integrated there threatens audited AI and Clara with its intelligent meeting recaps, real-time insights, and ability to attend double-booked meetings. Copilot challenges beautiful.ai and simplified.ai in PowerPoint with its automatic slide generation and design enhancement. Excel, Copilot competes with Tableau and Looker through automatic trend analysis and scenario modeling. And the list goes on and on. Most recently, it competes with Notion as well, with Microsoft Loop in the place. This all is a testament of Microsoft's intent. They intend to dominate the generative AI narrative. A challenging road lies ahead of many startups. And while some remain safe for now, each feature Copilot introduced could mean a startup's unique selling point losing its shine. As competition increases, so does the drive for innovation. It's exciting to see what the future holds. But let's talk about the bigger picture. McKenzie projects generative AI could annually add 6.1 to 7.4 trillion across new use cases and worker productivity. The primary areas benefiting from generative AI are like customer operations, marketing and sales, software engineering, and research and development. They contribute to almost 75% of the value of the AI use cases. Nearly 40% of surveyed companies anticipate reskilling over 20% of their workforce due to AI adoption. This indicates 
creates a ripple effect on cost reduction and revenue increase. So Copilot isn't just a mere reflection of these trends, it's a step towards AI's true potential. If you remember Clippy, it was Microsoft's talking paperclip assistant introduced in Office of 97. Clippy aimed to help users but fell short due to its premature technology, becoming a meme instead of an assistant. 25 years later, Copilot, powered by GPT-4, seamlessly integrates with Microsoft app, contrasting Clippy's simplistic abilities. It's clear that we're on the new verge of AI, where it's not just a tool but a necessity. But the market is just getting started with Google, Amazon, and even Elon Musk getting into it. Let's see what the future holds.